See, now we have to be really nice that we got respect. So this wasn't giving him enough time. Yes, and it was causing too much stress. No, no, because he Come didn't... On. Good boy! Turn, turn, yeah, turn this way. Good. Good boy. Come on, walk. Good boy. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Just correct him, correct no. him. No, no. There you go, and keep walking. Good. Good. Turn, Good turn this way. It wasn't not giving you a correction. Right there, stop, tell him to sit. 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 And then, there. So the pinch collar was too much stress. Now well, we've calmed him you down. You were giving him enough time to to comply. To right. To comply with. It was like that was like. I didn't catch that until that. Yeah. Because he was just a little slow on the uptake. Connie still has it to touch him. <laughs> Connie, but look. I am. I really. Dogs am. don't lie, Connie. Look, dogs do not lie. I'm telling you. <laughs> this is the look he had on his face when he took off my hand. No, it, it, it was probably with a closed mouth. Yes. That it wasn't, that's totally different. Tight mouth is different than closed mouth. See, I'm not afraid of it. So mouth open like this is He's all. fine. All right. Perfectly fine with his mouth open. He gave you the signs. He said you weren't cognitive of it. This is a soft mouth, right? Yeah. He's fine. Soft mouth. He's not. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, he just he was just missing respect for you. That's it. Let me see your hand again. Wow. And your leg? You got your leg too? Oh my gosh, girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. She didn't know she had that one until afterwards. You didn't feel it. Your no. adrenaline was pumping. Oh, yeah, pumping. my adrenaline, yeah. Mm -hmm. We got all done. I'm like, damn! <laughs> <laughs> That's happened to me, too, before. Yeah. You don't know until you stop because your blood flow is... Yeah. All right, let's walk a little bit more. Just walk. Talk to him. Come on. Be nice. Pull, 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 pull but don't jerk. Pull, 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 pull. pull. Just, pull. Just pull. Just, Just pull. Keep, keep going. Keep going. There you go. Good. All right, turn this way, Connie. Slow. Talk to him. Talk to him. Oh boy. Right wow. there. Stop. Tell him to sit. Sit. And tell him to down. That's okay yeah. if he does that. Very good. Good boy. That's what I wanted to see. He's licking. See him stressing out. He's relieving stress. Good. He didn't do that before. He didn't know how to decompress. He not once did he try to bite you. <laughs> well, he doesn't try to bite me every day. Well, that means that that means he wasn't an aggressive dog. He just needed to learn boundaries. <sighs> If any time he would have bit you was when you were stressing him out, right? Yes, you would have thought, yes. Yeah, you would have thought under the amount of stress he would have taken you out. Good body language. Look, you're doing good. You're doing good. Hey, give him one, give him two to three seconds after you kick his ass. Damn it, he was going to do it. And here she is. <laughs> you did fine, though. You got good. When you sit down, his, his mouth closed, and he, he did it. That was excellent. All right, grab, grab oh, it. I want to put my boots on before I do this. He what if he go after you. He's not going to go after you. Yeah. He goes after me. You just lift straight up with that leash. I guarantee you. Should I make this. him yeah. sit? You're going to... Oh, um, where's his bowl? Right there. Hold it, hold it right there. Hold on. I'll put it in here. Hold on. Look at his body language. Can you hold that right there? Hmm? When you put water on it, it helps him digest it too, and it slows him down from gorging. All right, come back out here with him. Slow, 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 slow. Here, nice body language. Sit. Come over here. Oh. Try to get me bit. Walk. Come over here. <laughs> Keep going, Connie. All right. Walk. Let me see it. Let me see the. Uh, let me see this. Very good. Very good. Okay, come on, Connie. Come on, Tucker. Walk. Pull, pull, pull. Good. Right there. Have him SIT. Sit. And have him DOWN. Very good. Okay, here's his food. So this is where the fight was at, right? Yes. Hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on. He's eating. Look at he's not impulsive going after his food. Right? No, he always does wait. He does wait until I tell him to go ahead. He's but, good about that. But even then his body language oh. isn't to where he's no, he's not he's like this. normally when he waits he's like this. Yes. Looking at a food, right? Yes. It's all about you now. So I want you to get him to eat and then pull him back and make him sit down, stay again. 
Go ahead, tell him. Tucker, go on, eat. Eat. Don't, don't, any pressure. Relax. Give him some minute. Give him some time. Can you look at his... Relax. Just take a step forward. You're okay, Connie. You look at... I'm looking at his body language. His body language is fine. Yeah, but I bet you if I touched him, he'd growl at me. No. D tell him the SIT. Tucker, sit. Tell him no, sit. No, sit. Should I correct him? Yep. Sit. Huh? That, that collar there, if you, when you corrected him, he should have went after you if it was dog aggression. Okay. You touched him, didn't you? Well, but that's different. That's different if it's not with your hand, right? Yes. That could, you could have created a trigger if you could do that. You want to do it with obedience. You want to do something that you can hold them accountable for. You want to do it something you can fall back on. Don't set them up to fail. Not yet. Wait until he learns respect. Look. He's away from his food now. Okay. And he's breathing normal. A little higher, little higher rate of speed. But it's important to put water in it so it slows him down from eating too. Okay. So don't set him up for failure. Not yet. Okay. You can work on that stuff later where you touch him. Oh look honey, he didn't do anything. It's because you conditioned him. Okay. You know what pisses him off? Don't set that off in the beginning. Build the relationship first and then. Okay. Do that. All right, do it again. Okay. Tucker, sit. Sit. Thumb to eat. Sit. Go yeah. ahead and eat. Eat. Go ahead, eat. There we go. All right, just wait. Let him eat now. Come in a little closer, Connie. Take a deep breath, Connie. Take a deep breath. Put your shoulders back where you go. There you go. Take a deep breath. See how he's slowing down with his food? Yeah. Remember, don't correct him for with the set. Right. For the end. But give him time to do it, damn it. Okay. Give him time to All do right. it. And you can say his name to break that tunnel vision. You're right. Okay. Alright, right now. Tell him to Tucker, sit. Not hard, just very slow. Tucker, sit. Nice. And then D O W N. Down. Down. Look at that. Good. You feel good? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm feeling good, but Look. Look at the dog's body language. Yeah. If he was if he was food aggressive, yeah, he would have taken off my toe. He'd taken off your toe. <laughs> Just like my ex-wife. Same thing. <laughs> So, it was more of just not treating you with respect. So, are you going to condition him for a while with the leash and while he's eating? You could. You could do that to tell him, hey, I'm running the show. You so, it'd be good to do this every morning and every night? Oh, in the perfect world, yes. Oh, I don't mind doing it. I don't, you know. And leave the collar on him. Should we leave it on him? Leave it on him to, so, he doesn't, so he doesn't become equipped. You can take it off at night when he sleeps okay. in his crate. Or anything like that? Take it off? He sleeps up with he us. He sleeps up with yeah. us, unless he's a bad boy. That's, that's his timeout cage. He might like that. My dogs like going in their crate, so how do you know if he's a bad boy, well, yeah, you're he, rewarding him. People often do that. He like going yeah. in there. Yeah, so he, we yeah, well, he's, a part of it, him not liking going in there is because he's running the show. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's not because he doesn't like it, he's just deciding not to I do it. I, I don't want to. Right. Okay, can I have him eat some more? <laughs> You and I are going to bond real quick, honey. Let him digest this. Okay. Let him mentally digest what he's doing. Okay. okay. Am I impatient? See, no. This won't you be just, the hardest no. for me is the patience. It, it's yeah. because you're used to gaining results. But look with the yeah. horses. You get yeah. small results. Yeah. You don't get... Well, you, sometimes you get moments of quick results and bam. Only because you're getting better. But with him, he's had bad training or no training, which is about the same. No training, bad training is the same thing. Mm -hmm. But look how calm he is around his food. His ears perked up. Let me do something. Let's have you walk this way. There. Boom. That tells me he's not food aggressive with his food because he wouldn't let nobody come near it. See, I'd rather have you get bit than me. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
I just no. kidding. No, I, I just no, knew. Buddy. No, no, I no, just like knew he wasn't. Body language yeah, exactly. Out well, he has eaten out of my hand. Look, one trainer. Says, oh, have him eat on your mm -mm. hand. That doesn't. That didn't change. And he was fine. There's, there's, there's a distinct thing. You'll see it in my book: food aggression and food possession. Two different things. He's not food possessive because he anybody come near his food, he would have growled and or potentially bit. And he he was more food aggressive, but more or less because he just treated you like a dog. This is mine. You stay away from right. me while I'm eating it. All right, have him eat now. Tucker, sit, sit. Just take a there. You go. You can take a step forward. Go ahead, too. eat, eat. Yeah. And then when he's almost done, and he's a few little nibbles here and there, and then you you call him back to I you. Mean, he, he's usually about three times as fast as that. Yeah. Putting water in it helps a lot. It also helps with his digestive system. Okay. I didn't, uh, no. didn't think that would slow him down. Yeah. I mean, I read if you put it in a bigger bowl, that's why he's got that one, because he had a smaller one. So I put it in that yeah. one. There's so many little tricks, but with when... Based on what I saw, he just needed water and there's to slow him down. And he is. He's slowing down at a, yeah, at oh, a yeah. good pace. All right, call, tell him the SIT. Tucker, sit. So give him just a, very little. Say no first. Very little, not hard. Tucker, sit. Very little. Now tell him the D-O-W-N. Down. Look at that. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. Not with him. But he's not doing it out of fear. Absolutely. He's not he's doing, doing it. Out of like, if I don't do it, I'm going to get it. Right. He's like, yeah. okay, I know what to do. Yeah. He's, he's doing it more voluntarily than you can think. And we're going to put him in his crate too, Connie. Cause eh, gonna... No. No, leave it. Oh, leave it. Yeah. No is don't eat ever again. Right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay. You want him emaciated? I have to be careful yeah. with my words. Yeah. Just, it... The good thing about dog training is you can make mistakes. As long as they're not a pattern of behavior. Okay. Right? Yeah, right, right. That's oh, the yeah. awesome thing yeah. about a dog training. Yeah, same with horse training. Yeah. It's very forgivable. It yeah. is. But yeah. that's because, well, with him, you get, dog, you get horses that are very intuitive, well, yeah. then right. they your don't body, forget. Like, your body like yeah. is 90% when it comes to the horse. And then they right. never forget. Right, yeah. Even if you cause an emotional traumatic event, they never forget. Those dogs, right. But your dog, you can make mistakes.